What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to talk a little bit about the Hunter's Solstice of Heroes legendary gear set and help my fellow hunters out there because I'm seeing so many people complain about it and that's fashion issues they are having with the Hunter's Solstice actual armor and I'm also going to show you guys a quick little thing you can do, a little method you can do to get easy glimmer which I'll showcase to you guys at the end of the video. But yes, if you're at the stage now in the Sources of Heroes event where your hunter looks like this, beautiful looking helmet, great looking gauntlets, legs looking great, cloak looking semi-decent, but a chest piece, I mean what is this? Why is there a rope and a blanket tied around this chest piece which it just doesn't match any other part of the gear? I mean, what were Bungie thinking? Now, if you look at the Warlocks or the Titans, it all suits, it all looks great. But, oh no, when it comes to us Hunters, seems like they left us out. I don't know what was, obviously, we were designed last. There's no two which ways about it. But people, I have a method for you, which actually resolves this issue you are having. There's ways around it, people. Now, the first thing you can do is you can apply this shader here, which is, if you've got it, I think it's called Midnight Talents right here now this makes it all just match perfect whole look i mean look at that it looks great because of the gold the blankets gold black rope it matches everything else besides the blue on the back but doesn't, you don't really care about that do you don't, don't really care about that do you but yeah everything else matches absolutely beautiful or you can do this you can do this you need this shader right here the kairos bronze i believe that said and you want to apply that to the cloak now, if you apply that to the cloak which we will do right here wasting my glimmer you can see it's blue so if we look at it now going to a bit of light we can see the cloak now matches the standard color of the actual chest piece so it looks decent it looks semi-decent it really does or people what you could do is and this is probably what many will be doing is um, change the chest piece to the blue because obviously if you've got this you can go into it and you can change it to make it look like the blue that we kindled set so you just apply that and you can see it's that color right there and then what you want to do is you want to apply this shader right here the precursor of Chrome. and if we apply that and back out you'll see that actually it's going to a bit of light tell so damn dark try and do a video it's so damn dark let's go up here let's go up here there we go we can see no nope, face that way there we go we can see it all kind of matches i mean obviously you want to, you, you don't want to cloak that color you want the cloak a standard color because obviously now the cloak stands out. You know, it's just weird. But yeah, that's probably the best you're gonna get. That is probably the best you are going to get. I mean, it isn't perfect. If I were you, I'd probably go to Midnight Talons with the full legendary set, uh, full legendary set up, or with a blue cloak with a standard uh, chest piece. But it does look better than what it does as standard, in my opinion, with the blue rekindled chest piece. As you can see, you can see it better there. I mean, it does suit now. Obviously, you don't want the cloak. You want the cloak, like I said, as standard. But yeah, that's, that, that is the best you're going to get, people. My fellow hunters, it's the best you're going to get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up the way I want it. And the way I probably will rock. I mean, you can see it there. I don't know why I didn't just do it in my menu. You can see it right there. It looks pretty cool. Obviously, you want the cloak being standard color, like I said. Um, you don't want that, but I'm going to keep mine on. You want it like that. So yes, that's probably the best you're going to get, people. It really is. Which is unfortunate. It really is, people. It really is. So let's just um, apply this. Take the blue off that. We don't want that. And we put the blue back on so it matches my cloak. And there we go. Now I'm going to show you guys a little tip on how you can get easy glimmer. Now, what you need to do is you obviously need to have hit. Well, obviously, at this moment, obviously, you need to have hit that glory rank. Well, not glory rank, valor rank, sorry. You need to reset twice. If you reset twice, what you can do is pick up this ghost shell for a measly 10 crucible tokens and 20 legendary shards which you probably will have stacked and if you do this you can actually dismantle this and get 5,000 glimmer so if I'm going to buy another one there we go and then go into your thingy and dismantle I've got two but that's my one I'm going to keep and dismantle this you'll get 5,000 glimmer for it people it really is as simple as that and 5 legendary tokens back so if you've got uh, tokens stacked You've got legendary shards stacked and you need glimmer. This is a simple method in getting easy glimmer. It really is. It really is, people. So yeah, if you need glimmer, you know what to do. 
you know what to do. Yeah, guys, that is it. We have come to the end of the video. I hope it helped you out. I hope it helped my fellow hunters out there looking the best they can in the Sources of Heroes uh, event. Also, guys, needing Glimmer. Hope that helped you out too. But on that note, guys, I am out. Thanks, as always, for stopping by. And hopefully, I will see you on that next one.